car. Makes it sounds amazing. GT3 race car. Mark 5 Supra race car. Does that look like an enthusiast class, street class? GT3 RS. Alright, GT4, got a 7 on 8 GTS, and right now we're going to head over back to the paddock because we do have the racing simulator, so let's go ahead and get it started, free racing simulator. Alright, so some of the race cars going out, oh, looks so good, about 20 more minutes before my racing sim turn. Simulator here at Circuit of the Americas, pretty cool setup. So just done with the sim racing and uh, that was tough. So for what I've been hearing, those guys are saying that setup is about a $30,000 sim racing setup. You could drive, brake, pedal, everything, and it also kind of shakes you side to side like a real car. Pretty cool. Over here we have a Toyota Serra. Not many people know what these things are. The uh, Gullwing door is pretty cool. Mitsubishi 3000 GT. We also have uh, R34 Skyline sedan over here. Pretty cool. Now that the R34s are becoming legal to import in 2024, you see a lot more R34s out in the wild. And over here, just all the booths. This is my kind of booth with all the JDM. So, like I said, in my kind of hobby shop, you got anything from your your diecast, your little display stuff everything is JDM here even selling parts like titanium tips you got your Momo steering wheel spoon sports steering wheel you have wheels for sale that's so cool we are back at the car show venue so right now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, drop some of our stuff off of the car do a rounds check out some of the vendor booths hopefully we get some cool stuff and we're here to get some of the tree frog scent I'm gonna get one for myself for the daily and one for the wifey and we decided to go with the charcoal smells it smells pretty good this bigger one lasts 60 days, so it should last pretty long in the car. Thank you so much. Let's start with some freebies. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. Alright, so if you guys want to get air fresheners, free frog air fresheners is the to go. They're from Japan. They smell amazing. There's so many different smells and scents. So uh, I'm not getting one for the show build because that doesn't get enough seat time. Also not getting one for the S2000 because I always leave the thing top down in the garage. But we'll be getting one for the daily driver and one for wifey's car. And these are the scents I got. Got the charcoal, botanical essence oil. Got this one for the wife. And got this one for myself. And they also hooked it up with uh, some lanyards and a little sticker. So really nice of Tree Frog to hook it up for us. So we are back at the Pajo area. Really clean that sun. I didn't know this. 
to a few years ago, but back in the day, my dad had a dad son. It was his first and only sports car that he ever had. That's on 240Z. So, if I were to ever build a classic build, I do like the JDM classic cars, the dad sons, high on the list. They look amazing. But unfortunately, when you do find them, majority of them end up like that, almost like a rust bucket. Okay, so in the car show area, a lot more cars showed up since we got here. So we've got some pretty cool stuff, a little bit of plastic, the trucks. Get your supercars, Audi R8. R32, GTR. FDRX7. Minty, <laughs> fucking minty, the light. So super cool, always cool seeing another fellow car owner. Also S1000 owner here, so super clean FDR X7 build. You do photos too? Not like professionally, it's just Do you have me. a page? I can give you a shout out on the channel? Uh, Euphoria Garage. Euphoria, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already follow it, but Euphoria yeah. Garage, we'll link it right here. Yeah. So photos of your cars? And Any, I mean anything, anything yeah. Uh, more of my friends, stuff I see that catches my eye, so yeah. Nice, nice. So yeah, make sure to follow him out. Cool Thank car you. enthusiasts, cool cars, and he does photos too. So right now we're just gonna keep walking around. Uh, more cars, some cars pulling up a little bit late. We have another new DRX7 over here. And then Ferrari just pulled up. All right, so we're gonna make our way over to the drift thing, which is that way. So, like I said, there's uh, quite a lot of cars. I am a more like time and tech stance guy, but man, the stands of these things just look really good. Yeah, like I said, all these guys were part of the Gaijin group, uh, Gaijin society, or same group. Maybe you have a Fitment guy. The Fitments are on point on these things. And we have S15 Mona Lisa. This thing was actually right in front of us whenever we were heading here this morning. Very cool S15. Gonna walk over to Lone Star Drift right now, which is in the other parking lot. All right, we're by the drift car section. This really clean S14 cookie, filling up on gas. Ricardo parked over here with his rally backer wide body BRZ. We're over here. Check out some drift cars. He's also here, so we're gonna come say hi. Check out some of the drifting action.